All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can overpopulate an island to the point where the people therein can only do one thing right, which is become fleshy meat bags to be sacrificed to the dark gods. It's people. You know what people are good at? Becoming sacrifices. Do you know what they're not good at? Having a goddamn title card. More torture of an entire species, damn it. People is a game where you play an all-powerful god whose job is to allow human beings to populate an island and live thriving lives. That ain't gonna happen. Supposedly you can screw the entire world over if you want to, and then on top of that, there's human sacrifices and such. And thus, I want to see if we can overpopulate the entire island, destroy the ecology, and then use everyone as sacrificial lambs. Now you may be saying to yourself, but Gray, how do you plan on overpopulating the island? Well, in this game, you can have a college degree in breeding. I love how there's all these different jobs like builder, farmer, forester, guard, and then there's just breeder. Using my God powers, I will give everyone the appropriate amount of food and supplies that they will need to live, and I will turn them all into professional breeders. In case you're wondering, this over here is the blood cauldron. Santa Claus gives you coal if you are naughty. Santa Grey throws you into the blood cauldron. All right, first things first, we need to turn this place into downtown Trenton. I need enough houses for the amount of people we're gonna have. Go ahead and throw the mill right next to the breeding program. What the hell just happened over here? This little juvenile just ran in and destroyed part of my freaking supply house. You little bastard. Well, hello there, young man. Did you enjoy destroying your god's items? I'll bet you did. I've got something special for you. <laughs> That's right, fuel my magical power, you bastard. What do we got here? Fences, ballista, what the hell? Catapult? Hold on, can you, what are you allowed to catapult? I have to make this. What the hell year is it that we have automated table saws? You know what? I'm not gonna ask any questions. I'm just going to assume that this is powered by fear. You can build a graveyard. We're gonna need that. What the holy hell? All right, who wants to help me test out the catapult? What is your profession, ma'am? A breeder? You may live. How about you? Unassigned. You're perfect. All right, now do me a favor. Just here, just chill out inside of here. I think it's working. <laughs> you throw human beings. By the power of Satan. Go! <laughs> Hey, he's still alive too, I didn't even lose a man. I'm gonna remember this because eventually I want to use people to kill people. All right, everyone, don't you worry. I'm making you a whole slew of slums over here. I like how this game comes pre-made with like apartment complexes. How close can I put these together? Nice. I don't even know why I'm trying to make these uniform. We're just planning on screwing up this whole island anyway, so whatever. Look at this townsperson unassigned. He didn't know what he wanted to do when he grew up. Your SAT score says you must become a breeder. Another villager without a purpose. Sounds like breeder material. What the sh just happened there? Um, it's still working. It's fine. A farmer. <laughs> we don't need any farmers in this civilization. You're a breeder now. Uh, breeder breeder. I like how being a breeder as a man means that you're just an angry shirtless dude carrying a torch around. Oh yeah, look at this. A shack, a tavern, a town store. A wooden sacrifice pole. What the hell? I have to make this. All right, I guess I'll just... Hold on, I'm gonna put this right in front of someone's front yard. Yeah, just right about, I don't know, right about like that there. Perfect. Okay, can I have a volunteer for the sacrifice? You, no, sir. God, please, no! So, I mean... How, what happens? <gasps> the guy just turns into a bag of entrails. <laughs> On the plus side, uh, you can actually go into the first person view here and see the inside of their depressing huts that they get to live in as they inevitably await turning into sacks of meat, a lovely diet of leeks and Texas toast. I mean, I wish I could say I needed guards, but I really don't, breeders. You can actually just rip the trees out of the ground? What happens if you beat a person with a tree? Ma'am, do me a favor, just stand there real quick. Oh! Well, young child, I've got bad news. Somehow simply touching a tree skinned your mother alive. 
You know what? I'm gonna keep this tree here as a reminder. After that, you know what you guys need? A tavern. I will, however, make a wooden sacrifice pole right next to this lady's dead carcass. Did you know there are deer in these woods? If you manage to capture them, you can keep them in a pen. You mean I can torture something besides people? All right, the tavern's going over here. I want everyone to have to walk across this lady's dead body in order to get something to eat. Right about there. What the hell was that? Jesus Christ, this is a bunch of, a bunch of ghosts. All my people died, the holy ghosts are busted up my freaking village, you bastards. What the shit is going on over here? Why is there like five wolves biting the hell out of one another? Get off my property. You can just throw them in there. What the hell? They just levitate like this is a complete lack of gravity. It's, what is this, like limitless wolves? Don't go after my children. God, everyone got eaten by wolves. Now I have to breed everyone again. You guys are really helpless, you know that? 66 year old breeder, <laughs> this is tough life. Wait, I can give birth to people magically by using a life spell? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> you have been brought into this world for one reason and one reason alone, to become breeders. Go, my children. <laughs> It's mostly so I can watch you get absolutely destroyed by wolves again. I still don't know what kind of freaking anti-gravity cocaine-powered wolves are in this game. I finally found a reason to use my god powers. All right, I need to be able to make more houses. I'm gonna get a bunch of these mills going up so we can create a true shanty town. Okay, real quick, I need to try something. Where's the ballista? There it is. What in the holy Jesus is this? Seriously, Thor, why you gotta roll through my goddamn slum? You're a guard, right? Oh, what the hell have I been paying you for? Oh, shit. I just spawned the troll right on top of everyone. That's not what I wanted to do. Don't worry, everyone. Despite like 30 of your relatives recently being slaughtered, I'm gonna rebuild this place even better than ever. Oh, shh. Okay. Oh no, oh, she's fine. She stuck the landing. I don't really know how she got catapulted into the sky. I wish there was a manual for being a god. All right, the ballista should be done in just a second here and then the true torture testing can begin. Okay, wanna move this away from all the housing. Uh, put this right about there. All right, go inside here. How much force do you need? Okay. Now we just have to figure out exactly where it lands. Right about there. All right, y'all ready for this? It's uh, it's kind of like bowling. Hold on. Try and make as many of these as I can. I want a nice procession of human beings. All right, very good. All right, here we go. Now you want to aim for the torches here. <gasps> Fire! <laughs> that was fairly close. All right, we'll, we'll move this up to about 40. And right about there. Overshot it. Come on, you were put on this earth for one purpose only, and, and that's to get blasted by a ballista, yes! <gasps> Every once in a while, I try and just select someone to turn them into a breeder, and they decide to go launching into the sky! I haven't sacrificed anyone in a while, so, um, there we go. So, in case anyone was wondering, uh, this is a school. Basically, the only thing that we teach here is how to run away from predators. All of the school seats come with the free butt donuts because everyone in this city is so used to getting their asses kicked all the time. I like how all children are, are just downsized versions of fully grown people. Oh, Christ, I just spawned the troll right on top of the school. I want y'all to know I didn't do this on purpose. Originally, I had thought that I was just going to sacrifice everyone, and I will, but the sacrifice is going to be by taking that goddamn troll and just walking through the city. Oh, this is nice. The children still get to use the school, even though the school is just a pile of rubble and the bones of the kids that didn't make it. Let me go ahead and put a graveyard right next to the school. They're gonna need it. Might as well put a wooden sacrifice pole here too. Can you use a child as a human sacrifice? Sure can. This entire game exists solely to torture people. There's no other reason to play this. I want a human sacrifice pole in the front of the school and in the back of the school. This way the children have to walk past it no matter what. How come this one's freaking sideways? All right, things are looking pretty good so far. We need more overpopulation though. I want to kill at least a thousand people with this troll when I come running through the town square. All right, you guys got to help me here. Everyone has to be a breeder. Okay, everyone's breeding very quickly now. We're already at 88 people. Nice. I have sheep to torture now as well. Can you pick a sheep up? 
You sure can. Can you throw a sheep and destroy a house? No, it's that goddamn troll bastard again. This is supposed to be my job, you whore. I've had enough of these goddamn trolls on this goddamn plane. I am the worst guy in the universe. Every time I grab someone to turn them into a breeder, some other random poor person goes flying into the stratosphere. I've been killing so many people that in order to not have ghosts destroy everything I've built, Everyone's getting a graveyard for their front lawn. These freaking graveyards fill up as fast as I can make them. All right, we're over 200 people now. Everyone keep breeding. We got another 800 people to go. Once we get a thousand, that's when the apocalypse will begin. Okay, we're finally at 300 people. We're getting there. If I turn on the information, <laughs> it's freaking awful. I can't see anything. I get the feeling this game was not meant to have this many people in this city. You can't go to the market to buy a gallon of milk without stepping through like five different cemeteries. <laughs> Sticks the landing on top of the house with the full roll. All right, get ready. I'm just testing the durability of the house. Is ready? Fire. All right, that went a little bit lower to the ground than I previously anticipated. Oh, for the love of all that is holy, can you leave my stuff alone? for 10 goddamn minutes. You freaking jack off, get wrecked. That is not at all where I shot that. All right, I can still squeeze in another graveyard right over here, running out of space. All right, put another shack in this guy's backyard. All right, we're up to 500 at this point. They're giving birth so hard, they're blowing up the buildings when they're done. Okay, we're at 805 people. I actually just can't make graveyards fast enough. At this point, all of the ghosts are going through and they're slaughtering the hell out of my villagers. My guards are trying to stop it. Trying to turn all these people into breeders is absolutely exhausting. <laughs> Keep breeding. No one told you you could stop. We're almost at 900. Always remember to save often. Okay, now that we have over a thousand people, the purge can finally begin. 10 FPS because of how many people are in the game right now. <laughs> Don't mind if I just walk through the center of town. Your houses look like ash anyway. If nothing else, I would say I'm fixing this. Look at the amount of people just in the middle of here. Hold on. That's right. Run in fear. Your Lord is here. Stomping all over your ass with my size 480 feet. He winds up for the swing. It's a home run. Hold on, I've got to try some of the God powers real quick. I grab your lightning. And <laughs> how about fire? How's that do? I like how okay everyone is that they're burning alive. They're not even stop dropping and rolling. They're like, you know what? It's great to finally be out of this game. When your aim is bad, just build houses so close that you can't possibly miss. <laughs> I still missed. All right, one more time. This has got to be a <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Didn't do shit. All right, if I fire this into town square, I should be able to hit someone, like right around here, I would say. That is a fantastic shot. Okay, all I really managed to do was just, is this lady playing soccer with my friggin' ballista? What you kind of steroids are you taking? All I did was desecrate my own graveyard. Got him. You can actually see the red blood sprays as the ballista tracks along the ground. God, there's so many damn people in this city, I can't kill them fast enough. It's literally easier to just grab the ballista and throw it at people this way. You like a plague, like a virus. What does it take to destroy you? It's unbelievable how many townsfolk I've made. I'm killing them by the hundreds and there's still like 600 left because they're all breeders. Don't mind if I just take a little stroll through depression lane right over here. Wow. Well, I just trolled myself because despite repeatedly stomping all over the civilization that I have built, because there's so many breeders, they breed so fast that I can't cause them to go extinct. I'm not gonna lie. That is the ugliest child I have ever seen in my entire life. Everyone just walks around 
spraying blood, impregnating each other. But they have obtained a level of immortality because they're so prevalent. All around the world, graveyards are completely filled with the bodies of the innocents. I guess I'll go ahead and leave this civilization to continue to breed and become a blight on the entire planet. They already can't be stopped. Even though the, the, the freaking trolls come in, they just can't kill them fast enough, even though they're soccer balling them. No, go ahead, Troll Bob. Take as many as you want. <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this train wreck that is people. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.